Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer. So, real quick, I wanted to go over something that dropped on Twitter. Um, it was found by uh, Jordan, or Anime Edge 202. So, some photos were taken from Michelle Blankenship McConnell, and for those of you who don't remember who that is, um, she came out and said that Vic Magnana had raped her way before he got famous, and it was during a production of a play of Annie. Um, I do have that pulled up. Um, so we're going to look at these photos because there's just something off about the coloring. There's something, the faces do not match up. And I do have experience with graphic design, with photo editing. And I'm not a professional, but I've had a few graphic design jobs and I do have a few years of experience. Not professional, but still um, with editing and stuff. So, like I said, Michelle dropped some photos claiming this to be Vic. Now, I have two of the photos pulled up, and this is the first one. Um, and right off the bat, something kind of stuck out to me, because I did go look at the name of this manor, um, which is Monkwell. Monkwell Manor has nothing to do with Annie. Um, for those of you who don't remember the story of Annie, um, it's about a little orphan grown up Annie. She lives in an orphanage run by Miss Hannigan, um, who eventually gets adopted out by Oliver Warbucks. Now, if you look at uh, Monkwell Manor, if you look up what the name is actually associated with, it's associated with an old musical called Mousetrap. Um, which I've never heard of this play before, but set in the Great Hall of Monkwell Manor, January 1948. Um, it's a suspense thriller. Again, this is what this manor name pulls up with. So, and I went and tried to dig around to see if it had any association with any whatsoever. So far, I have not found anything. Now, two things about the manor... Um, in Annie that is owned by Daddy Warbucks or Oliver Warbucks. Um, the technical name for the manor itself that was used in the movie is called Shadowlawn Mansion. And then also, um, because I do have the uh, article pulled up, a little snippet. This is what Michelle dropped to prove Vic Magnana was in her area at the time when she was 18. Um, but... Uh, where is it? Um, this relates to the mansion, Warbucks Mansion. Warbucks Mansion. That is what the mansion is referred to in the story of Annie. It doesn't have any other name that I have been able to pull up. Now, I grew up with the story of Annie, and so I figured, well, if the manor was associated with Annie sort of way, it would have pulled up. But it only pulls up the story Mousetrap. Um, let's go back to the photos because there's two different ones where the coloring is just weird. Okay, so this is the first one and already, like I said, the colors just feel way too vibrant, if that makes sense. It's almost like a hue and saturation filter was put on the photo. Um, for example, some of the colors that popped out to me was the hair, the shirt, and then just her overall coloring because it just, the shadowing, the shadowing and the lighting do not make any sense. Let me give you an example. Let's compare, um, Vic, this is claiming to be Vic. Um, this is... If you look at the shadowing of him, you have a light source, because there is a lamp over here. You have a light source coming from over here. This is a uh, soft glow for those of you who deal with lighting or an electrician um, or go to start. You'll notice there's three different shades of bulbs. There's daylight, which has a cool blue or cool white look to it. There's bright light, which is somewhat yellow, somewhat white, and then you have soft white which has a yellow warm glow to it, which you do see here. This is a soft white bulb over here, uh, just from the looks of the photo. Now, if you look at it, um, the light source does come across uh, Vic's face or whatnot, and it does put a shadow because there's no light that's supposed to be hitting over here. 
Um, and you see that there's a shadow um, being cast by his leg right here and kind of being curved. But then you look at these two ladies, these two ladies. Now, mind you, um, there is a frontal light source. And if you look at, because if you look at her inner glasses, there is a light source reflected in her glasses. And you can see it again. It's bouncing off her rims. Um, and you could see f nearly front face. So looking at Vic Manan, because you could see the reflector, shouldn't it, with the shadows right here, if there's a front face light right there, bam, because it's shown in her glasses, there wouldn't be so much shadow right here. Now, any graphic designers who follow me, any artists who like photo edit and fool with the lighting, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't, other people are saying this looks funny because it really does. Um, but yeah, there wouldn't, if there's a front face light, just from my understanding and knowledge and things like that, from my experience, there should not be shadows right here because, and I'll show you in the other photo, even at, uh, cause he's, you could say four fifths of an angle or perspective of, uh, where his face is, or you get some snippet of the other side of the ear. Um, now this was pointed out and I'm going to zoom in a little bit where this is hard to tell if this is uh, his face or part of his hair because you see if you look real closely and I'm sorry I'm trying to like zoom as much as possible without distorting the photo because it's really blurry the collar bleeds up to right here now going off that if we were to trace it like that this could be hair now I mean you could say that this is part of the wall design but this line right here is a little too thick um, so it's hard to say what that is. Um, there could be more to the wall design. I, I, I don't know, but it just, it's, it's weird. There's a weird bronzy, almost red strawberry color to the hair. And it's, it's more vibrant than it should be. I don't know how else to explain it. Anybody who deals in Photoshop knows what I'm talking about. When you mess with the hues and saturations of something, you can bring out certain colors. You can make them more vibrant or more pastel or more dark or more bright. You could do highlights. You could do mid-tones. You could do shadows. So again, though, the lighting already looks funny because once again, you could see in her glasses, there is a front face light in the face right there. Um, and so she doesn't have a whole lot of shadows. So even with this light right here, casting, um, light, you should have more light that makes those shadows even lighter. It's just, I'm having a weird time. And then her, because it does depend on the camera, it does depend on the exposure. This photo is supposedly from 1989 because that's when the play happened. Um, so it is really hard to say. Now, as for the newspaper itself, um, because it looks like the photo was scanned in black and white, or this newspaper clipping was scanned in black and white. Um, so what I can do after the video is done, I could try to snip out that video and colorize because what Photoshop has is they have uh, an inverse image um, feature to where you could turn a color image into black and white or you could colorize it. So I will do that and I will post it um, because as you can see, just from like all the white that there is, um, there is heavy stage lights and things like that. So let's go over to the other photo because you're going to see why this looks really freaking funny. There's another photo dropped and I'm going to try to zoom out here a bit. As you can see, the hair has a whole different color. You have uh, highlights, you have what looks to be possibly some gold, tan, dark brown, uh, a little bit of blonde in there. The face, again, there's that full on lighting. The eyes are not as sunk in 
as in this one. It looks like two different people. And I know that lighting can make all the difference. Um, it just, the eyebrows look a little bit different. It just, I can't, again, here's the, uh, here's the chin. Uh, let's look at the body. See, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell with this one because, uh, there's like a flannel, but it just, God, it's just the color, the color looks way too bright. It looks like somebody messed with the hue and saturation. Again, this should not, just in my opinion, this should not have a bronzy, that strawberry look to it. It just, it doesn't make any sense to have. Um... The noses, I just, to me, this looks like two different people. And again, the lighting does make a world of difference. Exposure to the camera. Um, and her shading. Her shading just looks a little bit weird. Because if you, if you look at their perspective, she is sitting a little bit more up front. And if you have a camera, which again, it looks like it has that front, bam, right in your face, uh, front forward. I want to say she should, because here's, here's the shadow. Look, there's her shadow right here. Um, and actually, is he not casting a shadow? There's a little bit. See, that's the other thing, too, because I just caught this. If you have a light going this way, because here's the sign. Here's the sign casting the shadow. Again, the front forward light. It's reflecting her glasses, so you're kind of having the light. Again, graphic designers, those who missed that, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section, give me your thoughts below. But you kind of have the light going up like this, so it's a little bit above them. And then even then, I yeah, see it's, the lighting still doesn't make any sense because if the light's up here, if you have the shadow of the uh, sign, so yeah. Now it's something to keep in mind is the higher up the light, the further down that shadow is going to be. So if, say if you have the light like this, that shadow is not going to be that far down. But as we can see in her glasses, it's a little bit more far up. See, there is so much about this photo that doesn't make sense. Now going back to this woman, this woman here, because she, she looks like she's from a completely different photo altogether. Because if you have the light like this, as shown by the shadow, in the Mon uh, Monkwara Manor uh, label or whatever, she should have more of a dark shadow here by her chin, like underneath her chin. This should be darker, just like I said, to go out from my experience, because you have a dark shadow, yeah, more dark shadows with her here, but this, it's, it's way too light, and there's obviously a warm glow to the room. Um... But going back to what I said is about the other shadowing, because technically, even with that, he should be casting a shadow too, but he's not. See, even on the fireplace, he's not casting a shadow. He should be casting a shadow. Yeah, because you have the light like this. I know I'm repeating myself because this is fucking driving me crazy, but he should be casting some sort of shadow. Oh my god, who put this together? I, I, this, this, uh, I'm gonna bet this is photoshopped. I, I really do, because like I said, here's the strawberry color to the hair, going back to the other one, even with the lighting, even with the exposure. You still do not get that strawberry, red, bronze, mahogany look, whatever the hell that color is. So this looks like somebody went through, slapped, because it doesn't even look like the same doesn't look like the same face. It looks really similar, mind you. Um, but the, also the hairstyle is different, too. Uh, let's see. The ears. Oh, that's something, too. Okay, so, again, let's look at the ears. Because I, I just, I, I know I'm being nitpicky, but there is a reason. Look how big, because I'm going to zoom in here, because this does make all the difference. Look how far out the earlobe sticks. Look how far left the earlobe sticks, because you'll see this right here. And then look at the picture of the other guy. 
even at that angle, he looks like he has more of like a heart-shaped ear. And then this one right here, it's not so heart-shaped. It's more like a rounded ear. I just, there, there's so many things that are bugging me about this photo, claiming it to be this. Again, right away, this has nothing to do with Annie. The mansion was never ma na named Monkwell Manor. And I know I'm tripping over my words because this is, this is fucking with my brain. I just, I can't even tell you how bad this is screwing with my brain. Because there's a lot of stuff. Now, granted, it was really well done. I, I will give them that because it took me a little bit. And I was asking, I'm like, are these legit photos? Now that I'm looking at it, the shadowing's off. Um, because he's not casting a shadow where he should be. Um, her shadow does not make sense. Um, even with much light in the room, she would, she would have a darker shadow underneath her chin because again, lights like this, and you guys can do this experiment for yourselves, is when you have a light source higher up, it's going to cast a longer shadow and the shadow end is going to be further down. So the closer that the light source is to the object, that shadow is going to be more closer up. So again, light further up, shadow extends further down, light... So you guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, graphic designers, artists, tell me your thoughts below. Anybody that has uh, experience with lighting, rigging, because animation programs, you have to do, or excuse me, deal with a whole lot of lighting. And so I'm sure that you guys can see some of the major issues with this photo. Anyway, this has gone on long enough, 60 minutes, because I've been trying to sit here and dissect this. But again, I'm going to see if I can take that newspaper clip photo and see if I can colorize it. Um, and see how it turns out, and I will post it. But yeah, there's, there's something really off about this photo, like, majorly off. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.